So y'all, it's your boy eBay Fight Predictions in the building, and we are back on our YouTube grind. We're here to talk about Rob Font versus Marlon Cheeto Vera. Uh, yeah, man, this is gonna be a phenomenal, phenomenal fight. I cannot wait for it. Um, I I think you know, ever since my break, I kind of did some you know some film studies, and I, I watched some of their fights back, man. I, I saw a lot of interesting things, but uh, this is a great fight for Cheeto, man. It's just, it's a step up. It's a main event. It's five rounds. We've We've seen it said about Cheeto that he's a five-round fighter. And we're going to really find out if he's a really five-round fighter against a legit dude that's been there, done that. Uh, he's fought some of the top five guys. He's fought better competition, in my humble opinion. And uh, and Rob Font, and he, he's done five rounds. You know, he, His last two fights were 25 minutes. His third fight right now is about to be 25 minutes. So, yeah, man, it's going to be really fucking interesting to see how, how these guys match up, man. It's, it's going to be... It's going to be a scrap, man. I cannot wait for this fight. And I'm uh, it's, it's a good fight. But... In terms of the rankings, I'm pretty sure. Let me get it out the way. UFC rankings, y'all. You know it's been a minute, man. Usually I have the UFC rankings right in the next tab. So you, so you guys know it's been a minute, man. It's been a minute since I've made this. But yeah, Rob Font number five. Cheeto number eight. So this is a big jump up. Cheeto wins this. He is in the top five. He's in the mix now. But um, yeah, man. Rob Font comes with a record of 19 and five. He's fighting out of Boston, Massachusetts. Age 34. A high of 5'8 and reaches 71.5. Uh, Cheeto twenty and seven and one. Uh, is fighting. He's not fighting out of New Mexico. He's um he's in Cali. I know that for sure. Age twenty nine with uh, Jason Pearl. I just don't know where in Cali. Like Ruka, one of the Ruka gyms over there. I think there's only one Ruka gym and a reach of seventy. So, Rob has a bit of a reach advantage here. Not a lot. Usually, like, like Rob when he fought like Cody, he had like that long reach advantage. And right now in his last two fights, he's actually kind of struggled with guys that have been able to match him with the reach. And not necessarily like they. You know, they match him, but their arms are a little longer, right? So he's had some issues with Aldo, and he's had some issues. Well, he's going to have some issues with Cheeto. But, um, yeah, man. Uh, I mean, Cheeto's fought, if we look at resumes, man, Cheeto's fought some decent guys. Um, you know, he's fought some decent guys. I give him, his, I give him credit where credit is due. Um, he fought Frankie Edgar. Uh, fought Davy uh, Davy Grant, beat him. Fought Jose Aldo, lost. Beat Sean O'Malley, probably one of the better wins of his career. Won that. Uh, lost to Song Yidong, but some people felt like he won. Uh, beat Andre Yule, Nolan Hernandez, Frankie Shans, Guido Canetti. Uh, fought um, Brian Kelleher, Brad Pickett. Also lost to uh, Douglas Silva, DeAndraj, and John Lineker. And also does have a loss to Davy Grant. But, but yeah, man. Um... We've seen his resume. We've seen what he's been able to do. Um, Marlon, he's been there, done that. He's he's a lot younger than Rob Font, but he's he has a lot more fights. Um, so he's been there. You know, he he's battle tested. We see what he's got, and you know, obviously his last two wins has propelled him to this moment. And we saw what happened last time when he won, right? He had a really big win over Sean O'Malley. They gave him, a, you know, a, a bump up in competition. And Aldo, he didn't do uh, his thing, and he lost, right? It was a close fight. I felt like the first two rounds were pretty close. I felt like maybe he won the second round, and Aldo just clutched out with being the better fight IQ opponent and just getting his back, taking it, controlling him for the whole round. So he had to work on that back, <laughs> or, the, uh, you know, um, you know, his back defense, or I guess his, uh, I don't know, back take defense or some shit. Um, but, yeah. Uh, against Davy Grant, I you know I I saw it right. Uh, I saw him winning, but I did not see that first round going the way it went. Uh, Davy obviously was the better striker, which was weird. I thought you know something that Cheeto's been working on a lot was his boxing and striking with Perillo, and it just didn't show against Davy. Um, he just seemed like the grittier fighter. Obviously, the striking started to pour on later. And but it was a combination of the grappling too, and you know the elbows, and the elbows were nasty in that fight. I'll never forget what he did to Davy Grant with the elbows, and it was a good fight. It was a good scrap, and he just was able to outwork him. And he just he's a workhorse fighter. He's a slow starter, but he's a workhorse fighter. He builds on, so that's why everyone thinks this five round stuff is going to be perfect for him. But yeah, um, and against Frank Edgar, um, he lost. He lost the first round undoubtedly, right? Got controlled, obviously. Yeah, you know Frankie was in his full guard, right? And you could say, ah, oh, Frankie didn't do anything and Marlon did more work off a of bottom. But I thought Frankie won. And obviously Frankie's my boy. And I know some of you guys are like, oh, you're super biased. You, you like Frankie. That's why you're hating on Cheeto now. Da, 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 da. No, it, it, you could say that. And 
hey, whatever helps you sleep at night, go ahead and think that. But the facts are the facts, man. A 40-year-old Frankie was able to control you, right? Uh, and, and, and that's what it comes down to. Like, Frankie that old was able to control you, you know? Um, you know, and obviously I just felt like Frankie made a few little mistakes in the second round. He probably would have banked that one. and He would have been uh, 2-0. and And in the third round, he just got caught. I, I Obviously, Cheeto... Something that I felt like was impressive that Cheeto was able to do to Frankie that I've never seen anyone do it, but Frankie's older, so I do do that put it I do put that in perspective. But it looked like Cheeto was out working Frankie. And usually you don't see that Frankie's one of these guys that has crazy, crazy cardio. You know, he doesn't get fucking tired and it looked like Cheeto was pushing the pace on him when usually Frankie pushes the pace on you. But it is what it is. Rob Font, Frankie Edgar is my guy. So, he, he, you know, you can say I'm, I am picking Rob Font based on that Frankie Edgar fight. It is what it is. Whatever, again, whatever helps you sleep at night, say what you got to say. But um, Frankie, in my humble opinion, right now is not as good as Rob Font. And one thing about Frankie, even though he was a former lightweight champion and a former featherweight, he was a smaller guy against Cheeto. Rob Font ain't going to be the smaller guy. And I'll tell you one thing about Rob. He ain't going to get fucking tired. And he ain't going to be shooting for takedowns. He's going to be in your fucking face all fucking day. Um, And if Cheeto can outwork Rob, hey, be my guest. But I've never seen that happen yet. I've seen Rob get hurt. I've seen Rob get hurt, but I've never seen him outworked or, you know, push to the point where he gets tired. I've never seen that. So if Cheeto can do that, you Ecuadorian fans will probably be happy. But the almighty jab from Rob Font is coming because look at the resume that Rob has, right? Now, Cheeto has one former world champion on his resume, you know, and Frankie Edgar. So, But Rob, look at the guys he's beating, right? Fought Jose Aldo. Both guys fought Jose Aldo. You could, I mean, if you're a Cheeto fan, you could probably say, oh, you beat Aldo a lot better, but it is what it is, right? Beats Cody Garbrandt, former champ. Beats Marlon Marais, former title challenger. Ricky Simone, very, very legit prospect that I'm looking into and he was able to out wrestle Ricky Simone and this is something a lot of people came at me about I remember when I said in my breaking news video I was like you know what do you mean uh Rob Fun is better than all around obviously Cheeto's the better grappler do you think Cheeto would take down Ricky Simone right now no he wouldn't was Cheeto able to take down Jose Aldo no he wasn't you know who took down Jose Aldo Rob fucking Font I think that Rob is a better grappler in those first two rounds. You'll see it. He, but he's not going to grapple. He's a, he's primarily a striker. Then he beat Sergio Pettis, another underrated one, former, well, current champ in Bellator. Um, and he did his thing. And that, that win has aged like fucking fine wine for him. And just look at those guys. You know, he fought Rafael Santos, lost that one. So, hey, it is what it is. Beat Thomas Almeida. Fought Pedro Munoz, lost. Um, beat Douglas Silva de Andrade, a former opponent uh, to Cheeto. Uh, that beat him, beat Matt Schnell, was able to knock him out. Lost to John Lineker, another former opponent uh, to Cheeto. And, you know, that's pretty damn near where all the... Yeah, those are... Yeah, that was that's about it in terms of the good fighters. But, but yeah, man, it's... it's. I think it's quite obvious to see who has a better resume, in my opinion, who's fought the better competition, who's fought more five-round fights, and we all know the answers to that. That's Rob motherfucking Font. Um, Rob Font, uh, you know... <laughs> He's friends with Calvin Gator. They're teammates. They got the same mentality. Um, I think Rob Font is kind of going to do <laughs> what Cater did to Giga. I think he's going to walk this dude down Vera. He's going to light him up. I think Vera's going to survive. And I could see... I, I can't see it. But the idea is that that some other people are saying... I'm going to play devil's advocate here just to, just to give, I guess, some credence to their debate. Is that Cheeto can outwork and gas out and break Rob Font because Cheeto's so good because he beat Sean O'Malley and a 40-year-old Frankie Edgar. You know, <laughs> like, that's what they're saying. Um, and, hey, if you think that, you know, have a good day with that. But that ain't happening. Rob Font will jab this dude to death. He will show him how to box 50-45 by Rob Font. It's going to be a clinical performance and Rob's going to do his thing. 
I got robbed by decision here. Um, and yeah, man, if Rob wants to take this dude down, he'll take him down. <laughs> Rob will literally do whatever he wants to Cheeto. And I, I, I'm pretty confident on that. Like, I, I just don't see Rob getting tired. I just don't. If he does, man, good on Cheeto. He proved me wrong. But I just don't see it. So, yep. Uh, that is my uh, prediction. Rob Font, 5045. Easy money. Uh, Ecuadorian fans, I love you. I love you. Uh, I love Ecuador too, but uh, your boy's not winning. <laughs> your boy's not winning today. And he's going to get his ass beat for flipping off Frankie Edgar. That's a fucking dick move if I ever fucking seen one. So F him for that too. <laughs> and yeah, it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like, comment, share the video. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on, on Instagram. Uh, all the links will be down below. And we're back, baby. We're back on that YouTube grind. eBay Fight Predictions is back like he never was gone. Be there or be square. See y'all, love y'all, and goodbye.